Well, good Wednesday evening, everyone. Todd Warren here on Facebook Live tonight, as well as on the uh, weather page of KTALnews.com with a live update on the weather here across the Arklatex as we are uh, looking at the continuation of our very quiet weather pattern across the Arklatex here uh, for the uh, better part of the next 10 days as uh, we'll have two more cold nights with temperatures in the 30s, a freeze morning in effect for uh, pretty much all the area will have a chance of dipping to freezing tonight, even though I do think we'll stay above freezing again in Shreveport. Uh, that's some of the stuff I'll be talking about. Uh, talk about big warming trend on the way. We'll be back into the 70s as soon as Friday over much of the area with 80s also on the docket, several days of 80s in fact possible in the next 10 days show you when that's going to happen and of course it does look like we're going to stay dry but on the distant distant horizon uh, there is a possibility that we could see a decent amount of rain towards the end at least last half of next weekend i'll kind of touch on that and of course take you out a couple of weeks deeper into this young month of november uh, temperature wise let you know if we have any more cold on the way similar to what we've experienced here recently if you have oh another thing too i mentioned in the description i am i did write up that article i've been talking about here over the last couple of weeks i finally had to dig up uh, a couple more sets of numbers and do some calculations and i got that done had some time today so i wrote up that article and i posted it uh, on our website and i'll uh, kind of touch on the questions about this winter that i answered i'm actually going to tell you the answers and I'll let you uh, read the reasoning behind those answers in that article. So if you have a question or a comment, feel free to ask away. If you just want to say hello, that's great too. So let's see who's tuning in tonight. It is tradition, as you know, to uh, end the festivities with our hellos. And we'll end with my attempt at humor. So Gary is first on board tonight. Hello there, Gary. Uh, Alexi, hello. Rusty, evening. Rusty, yes, I agree. It is a bit chilly. <laughs> uh, Sarah, hello in Brooklyn. Christopher in Florida. Uh, <laughs> Christopher's happy the heat has finally left Florida. <laughs> Eric says it's a chilly 43 already in Colbert, Oklahoma, west of the Arklatex. And he's apparently watching the World Series. When I walked through the newsroom, it looked like a pitcher's duel. Uh, zip, zip. Or as they say on the pitch, nil, nil. Uh, Sarah says 45 degrees today in Brooklyn. Ooh, we were a little bit warmer than you were today, Sarah. Right now, 48 in Shreveport, 41 in Texarkana. If you look real close, you can see those numbers during the next uh, 12 hours. We'll probably dip into the low to middle 30s across a good chunk of the area tonight. So let me uh, get into the details here. Obviously, with a clear sky, nothing as far as rainfall out there. High temperature in Shreveport did make it to 58 this afternoon as models have been running a bit too cool for us, at least. Uh, 51 degrees the high in Texarkana, 54 in Marshall, and we also saw 58 in both Manny as well as in Natchitoches. Again, we do have one more night with potentially freezing temperatures across all of the Arklatex, and northern part of the area could get uh, close again tomorrow night. You can see 35 tonight in Shreveport, 33 in Texarkana, 33 in Marshall, and 32 for the low temperature in Natchitoches. Overall, the weather pattern uh, looking relatively tranquil above us as we do have a northwesterly flow. Sarah, this trough here, the reason why you experience the chilly temperatures and of course that northwesterly flow pushing that front through your area. I've been kind of touching on the, how the flow has been moving across the polar regions. You can see that connection uh, to uh, the continent of Asia here and uh, how that is meandering its way now into the northeastern sections of the country, uh, we will see that get kind of get cut off. And that's going to allow our atmosphere to modify somewhat here in the next couple of days. So look at the weather map and all is pretty much quiet across most of the country, minus the Pacific Northwest. You can see this area of high pressure that's now sitting right over the top of us almost. It is going to begin to slide to the east. Now, of course, the air circulates in a clockwise fashion around these highs so we're going to start to see the wind shift around to the southeast tomorrow south on friday and you can see with this uh, high pressure in control the eastern two-thirds of the country looking quiet we'll continue to see that uh, precipitation move across the rockies 
Uh, not really much as far as any weather systems diving southward to offer some changes. We're just going to see a warming trend begin tomorrow, and it is more than likely going to continue as we go through the weekend and into next week. And uh, Sarah and Christopher don't see anything there in your necks of the woods <laughs> that would uh, offer any chance of any rain. Uh, you can see a little area of low pressure maybe developing off the east coast of Florida, but still we stay relatively quiet. Now notice a few more clouds here heading into Sunday morning. We are going to be warming up and we're, all going to, we're also going to see an increase in the moisture. So we'll start to see a few more clouds mi mixing in with the sunshine as we uh, head on through the weekend. Let's see. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Mary, it's my pleasure. Sarah, uh, or address that. Marnita, hello. Uh, let's see. And Drew, a bit cold in Ashdown. <laughs> Bring on the snow. Ooh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if he wants to. And that's one question I'm going to answer here when I, uh, I'll begin grain of salt time with uh, the answers to those winter questions that you may have. I tried to guess on a few that I could find data to answer. Uh, so I'll do that in just a bit. And uh, you can see as we zoom in here, I'll zoom very quickly through Futurecast as uh, really not much again tonight with the dry air in place. You can see the clear sky tonight, sunshine tomorrow. You can see that wind shifting around to the south and east. Another relatively calm night tomorrow night will allow temperatures again to dip into the 30s. So burr again tomorrow night. And then Friday, more of a south wind will continue that warming trend. Uh, we will stay dry Friday evening. Going through Saturday, you can see um, Friday night, I should say, much of the same. Notice a few more clouds mixing in Saturday, but not much. Saturday looks pretty nice. We'll be mid to upper 70s Saturday. Could see a few low clouds early Sunday, which will give way to that cloud sun mix during the day. And notice Sunday, a bit stronger southwesterly wind. And the southwesterly winds do tend to warm us up a bit more. So I think we uh, likely will be in the 80s as soon as Sunday, at least over the southern half of the Arklatex. So uh, warmer air is going to return. Uh, let's see. Sarah says 43 right now in Brooklyn. Well, you're a little bit, we're just about down there with you there, uh, Sarah. Uh, Barbara says, nice day in Prescott today. I'm glad you enjoyed it there, um, Barbara. All right, uh, here's a look at the pattern. And before I do that, again, I wrote an article uh, on the website. And let me move that over. And um, basically, this is it. El Nino, we're entering and have entered an El Nino in the tropical Pacific. Uh, it looks like it could be a strong one. I looked at the what we where we are now uh, as far as that industry indice goes, or the index goes, I should say, and uh, it, I only found nine higher totals during this period uh, since 1950. That's as far back as those numbers go back. So I used those nine years, okay? This was one of the top 10 hottest summers, so I also grabbed data for those 10 years, okay? The winters following the summers. Uh, I call, call those hot summer winters, or HSWs in the article. So Questions I, uh, I answered, will it be colder than normal this winter? And the answer, no, but probably colder than last winter. How many times will we drop below freezing? Probably more than last year. We only had 19 last year. I think it's going to be somewhere between that and 28. 28 is average if you look at all years in Shreveport dating back to 1874. Uh, will we have a hard freeze with temperatures below 20? Probably yes. Uh, will temperatures rise into the 80s at all this winter, December, January, February? After this summer, of course. <laughs> uh, last time, I think it happened 12 or 13 times. It was quite a few last year. Uh, it won't be that many this year. And, of course, the most important question is, will it snow this winter? And uh, the answer, probably a little, but less than one inch, at least here in Shreveport. Not saying that we won't get more. It's possible, uh, but out of the 16, out of the 17 years that I have snowfall data for, uh, we got at least a trace in Shreveport 16 of those 17 years, okay? Um, but as far as winters with more than an inch, very few. 
Um, I believe out of the 17 years, there were six, maybe. So I'm not saying it's, I'm telling you it's, in, it's a possibility. <laughs> but it's looking unlikely that we'll see heavy. So that's the answers. If you want to dive into the um, how I arrived at those answers, uh, again, the uh, article is El Nino after a hot summer. What's next for winter? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's go to grain of salt time. Oh, hello there, Bonnie. Hopefully you're doing well uh, tonight. All right, 10-day pattern. Uh, you can see the northwesterly flow and uh, also notice last night I mentioned that we could have a front that may bring us a shot for some uh, rainfall Monday night. Now looks like that front's really not going to have any impact on our weather. You can see um, I stopped it Tuesday evening. Everything's off to the north, so kind of doubtful we'll see much from that. We have this what we call zonal flow, basically west to east. Uh, so that tends to lead us towards nothing spectacular as far as uh, uh, unusually, especially cold temperatures. But notice this disturbance here by uh, next Wednesday night approaching the Pacific Northwest. That is going to be the, or probably our next big rainmaker. You can see this uh, particular run of the GFS not quite as pronounced uh, with its strength as the one I showed during the early newscast. But you can see... Saturday, the rain breaking out to the west of the Arklatex, that could impact us uh, next Saturday night and Sunday. Now, that's 10 days away. Again, I've already seen changes from run to run in the GFS, so it's not set in stone. So we'll see grain of salt, hence grain of salt time, right? Uh, so that, that's what we're looking at as far as the pattern. Dry, dry, dry until maybe the last half of next weekend. So nothing really too much to talk about as far as rainmakers for us. Uh, oh, another dream from Christopher. <laughs> uh, thunderstorm with freezing rain that produced 60 mile per hour winds. That would be an amazing feat. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's possible you get the elevated convection. Uh, but yeah, that's eh, a bit much. I don't even want to think about it. After Snowmageddon, Christopher, that would be a nightmare, not a dream. All right, let's go to the temperatures here, longer range. And you can see that uh, the trend is upward. Uh, again, probably you can see the European ensembles, 36. Actually, the Euro ensembles nailed last night. Uh, the wind stayed up last night. It didn't die down as much as thought. So we didn't get as cold as thought over much of the area. Um, most of the area did, at least northern half of the area, did dip below freezing. But 39 was the best we could do for a low in Shreveport. I think mid-30s tonight. I actually have 35. Uh, and then you can see the warm-up 60s for lows uh, heading into the first of next week. Those highs, several days with highs in the low 80s. And then the uh, air will cool off a bit late next week, uh, back into the 40s, low 50s for lows and highs back in the 60s. And nothing really uh, big swings after that as we go uh, into the middle part of November. Again, this is two weeks, takes us out to the 15th of November. That last Wednesday there is the 15th. Let's compare these numbers to the the GFS ensembles and you can see that uh, they show uh, ooh, for some, oh, you know what? I typed one too many highs. All right, so the 60 should be tomorrow and move all the highs over a day. <laughs> Ignore that 50. That was, and that's the, that should be the, the Wednesday low. So uh, actually, the lows are correct, right? But the you got to move the highs over a day. But you get the gist. We'll warm up heading into next week. And I actually looked at this before I came on here, and I didn't notice that 50. Uh, and then a little bit of a cool down late next week, probably as that next disturbance approaches with that chance of rain uh, and more clouds next Saturday and Sunday. And pretty good agreement in the last half there between the two sets of ensembles as far as temperatures. So point is here is that once we warm up, we're going to stay at least pretty close to normal uh, temperature wise, even though we will warm well above normal uh, to begin uh, end this weekend and begin next week. All right. So that's a look at the temperatures that are on the way. Here's a look at what we could see as far as rainfall. This takes us through next Saturday, 6 p.m. And don't, don't, by the way, this Saturday is fall back time, right? Saturday night before you go to bed, you get that hour of sleep back. Uh, but nonetheless, a bunch of goose eggs on here. It almost looks like Gary's forecast there in Palm Springs. 
Uh, so rain looking uh, highly unlikely, a good bet that we would, will see uh, below normal rainfall here during the course of the next uh, 10 days through next Saturday. Uh, and of course, tomorrow, we'll go. this will go out to Sunday, so we'll probably have uh, bigger numbers, but it's at the end of the period, so again, grain of salt in that one. Uh, Sarah, you, I mentioned, uh, I see you're still here. I do have, at least I thought I did, there it is. Um, your numbers and Christopher, I'll kind of give you a quick shout out to yours as well. Uh, Sarah, your temperatures here, you mentioned forties today, same thing tomorrow, sixties this weekend through Tuesday, late next week, back into the fifties, uh, maybe some upper forties, uh, freezing tonight, possible. And then forties this weekend, 50, maybe Tuesday morning for a low, then back to the thirties and forties late next week. As far as your rain, Sarah, looks like uh, goose eggs until maybe the end of next week, next uh, Thursday and Friday, you might see some rain. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Uh, uh, Christopher, your temperatures looks like 80s for highs, low to middle 80s, pretty much through the next two weeks. Lows, you mentioned the 50s, you got one night of that, then it's back to 70 by Tuesday morning. And as far as your rain there, Christopher, nothing. Is that Tampa? Yeah, it is. Nothing, uh, really nothing at all, to be honest with you. Maybe late in the period, a little bit of rain. So looking relatively dry for you in Florida there, Christopher. Uh, so there you go. And uh, let's, uh, now that we got it, all the, uh, the folks watching, the interstate folks watching out uh, taken care of. Here's what we can expect here at home. And you can see tonight looking clear and cold. There's that freeze possible as we'll see lows in the low to middle 30s across the area. 33 in Texarkana, 35 in Shreveport. Could see some upper 20s, places like DeQueen and Hope, maybe Idabella, Magnolia. Uh, again, anywhere in the Arklatex, freezing is within the realm of possibility. Sunny and warmer tomorrow, low to middle 60s, pretty much area-wide, looking at 63 tomorrow in Shreveport, 63, 64, 66 in uh, Natchitoches, and 61 degrees for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. Notice that normal 73, so we will stay below normal tomorrow, but it's back to normal. In fact, a little bit above normal Friday, um, 77 Saturday, three days of 80, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then there's that late week cool down back into the 60s. We'll see uh, the lows warm up into the 60s here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Those should retreat back to the low 50s. And you can see, as of right now, nothing as far as rainfall. You know, you could put a 5% chance in, CYA chance in for Monday night, but uh, what's the point? Uh, let's see. We do change the clock again this weekend, Sarah. You go back an hour, fall back. Uh, <laughs> it's not quite right over your head, uh, Christopher. It's a little bit further south, but yeah, you're you're right about that. <laughs> you're it probably a little bit closer to you being further south than we are, but nonetheless, I digress. So that will uh, do it for me tonight. But before I go, uh, I got a little story I want to tell you, and uh, you know I. A couple weeks ago, earlier in October, we, my wife and I took a little out-of-town trip down to uh, 30A in Florida. We were coming back, and uh, there was a wreck on one of the big bridges uh, uh, on I-10 uh, going uh, you know, north of uh, Pensacola. So, of course, we had to go into town and uh, turn, turn, you know, you're watching the, the GPS thing, whatever it's called. I think I was using Waze. And she says to me, you really don't have any sense of direct. You really don't have any sense of direction, do you? I said, I said wow. I look at her and said, where did that come from? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And with that, that will do it for me tonight, folks. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And again, if you want the details on the winter answers that I uh, gave you, you can uh, visit that article on our website, ktlnews.com. And of course, I'll be back uh, tomorrow night for one final look at the weather here heading into the weekend. Uh, the trend in the temperatures has been up. I'll let you know if that trend will continue and maybe have more details on that next chance of rain next 
weekend. So again, pleasure chatting with you again tonight. I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Until then, have a great night, stay warm, and enjoy that sunshine. Good night.